ericmothethmother.com. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 and this time we're going to be taking a look at this chart here which is a five minute chart. Just want to show you my understanding from a technical standpoint of this high and the highs right here. Now for this to make sense because it's pretty much a follow through or follow up I should say of this video here. So I'm going to include a link to this video in the description. So take a look at this one for this video that I'm recording right now to make sense. Watch this video and then watch the follow up of that video. And again, the links are going to be in the description of the video. So watch this too before you watch what I'm about to say next so that it can make sense. And it also saves us time. So what I'm going to do is explain from my own vantage point where this high and this high has come from. Now we have to go back and figure out where we broke down so we can use the stock itself or the S&P 500 to tell us what to do. So that was a major high, the break there. So we take that information and draw our straight line. Now, notice that the line happens to at about the 61.8 level. Notice also that we come here, we touch the line, which gives us that high. So the first high has been achieved. And then again, we come and try and move above the same line, which gave us the highs here. And there's another resistance right there. Ultimately, that was a high before we get this pullback. So this is consistent with the previous two videos that I was talking about. So make sure you watch those and you can see how everything just makes sense now that we can see what happened after the fact. Now, this is mainly for those who like to trade the small time frame. I hope it's been of some help. Again, the RSI can be a good gauge doesn't work all the time, but when it works, it looks beautiful. Eric Mwadi at Mwadi.com. As always, good luck, peace and blessings. I am out. But I shall be back. I guarantee it. <laughs> Bye.